Hey guys, Jason Tony W here, bringing a little update video to you guys. I got quite a bit to update you on, so I'm not exactly sure how long this video is going to be. Uh, but as you can see in front of me, there's the the Emacs in front of me there. Um, let's see where to start. Um, I have the body off of it right now because I'm checking things out and stuff like that. And uh, what do I do with them? there I know that in my previous video there I was talking about that I finally upgraded the lipo and everything and uh, I have a little bit of an update for you guys now that video that I made for you guys see Emacs on lipo and update and then uh, the Emacs is almost done well, obviously, you guys can tell I have the rear end on it now, and I, I've put a few runs into it since that last video, and I have to say that, um, yeah, well, now, yes, obviously, LiPo is way better than nickel metal, yes, and, you know, big surprise that, you know, I like the LiPos better than the nickel metal hydrides, obviously, yes, but I did have some people inbox me asking how this truck ran with the way I have it set up and the batteries that I'm running well okay for those people that asked uh, everybody would well, I shouldn't say everybody there, there's a few people that asked how I have this truck set up and I have it set up stock spur gear what teeth that is um, let's see I have a spare spur gear right here um guess I should have been better prepared for this video hang on guys I know you guys are looking at nothing right now but I want to open this up here so I can verify just in case if anybody out there is wanting to do the same thing but they don't know where to start or whatever then they know. Um, looks like it, well, this one says a 62, but let's see. Yeah, this one says a 62, but I swear that the one that's on here is bigger. Uh, all you'd have to do to verify that is go on Trax's website and then go to products and go to the Emacs. And then go to the transmission exploded views, and it'll tell you what that spur gear is. But it's whatever that spur gear is on a 18 tooth pinion, or no, 17. I had a I had an 18 in there, and uh, you know the performance was you know it was still pretty good, but I could tell that it needed to be re-geared just a little. So, I put a 17 on there, and that's perfect. Now, you could put a 16 on there if you wanted to get a little bit more out of it. and uh, But you are going to be a tad bit slower. I mean, now, I had an 18 pinion on there and a stock spur. You know, and that's, to Castle, that's the starting point. That's what they say, anyway. So... I asked if I could knock it down to a 17, and they said that, yes, you can knock it all the way down to, I think you said a 14 or a 15, but, you know, I mean, that that's gobs and gobs of torque. I mean, you know, I have a 17 on here now, and that's more than enough for me. Now, on to the batteries, okay? I got the hard case Zippy 5700s. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that says 50C, okay? That's what I got. I don't remember how much they were. Not too bad. When you go on Hobby King's website and you look at the batteries, if you leave the page up for a while, uh, a one-time offer thing will come up. And uh, I don't remember how much that was, but I remember getting them cheaper than what was listed. So I got two of those. And uh, it runs really, really good off those, but I want a little bit more punch. So 
I'm going to order uh, 65 C packs. So if anybody is thinking about doing this setup in their Emacs and they're wondering what to get, if you want to run nickel metal hydride, run two 9.6 volt packs uh, that are top of the line. You'll get the best that you can get like from Max Amps or CheapBatterPacks.com. CheapBatterPacks.com I had the most luck with. But obviously LiPo is the way to go. So if you're thinking about you know going LiPo, then I'd get those chargers, the Thunder A6, or I'd get the the Traxxas Easy Peak. Cause that, uh, or you can go on Hobby King's website and you can get the same battery charger that's like the Easy Peak, the Traxxas Easy Peak. It's just black black and gold or something like that or whatever and it does the exact same thing and it's way cheaper so it's up to you what you decide to do but um, I would definitely either get these you know in between 50 and 65 C is what I would get um, now there's gonna be people out there that disagree with me on that you know oh get the max amps 100 C batteries you know and and blah 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 and there's so much better batteries and whatever else well I've been in the RC since I was 10 years old you know so it I know a thing or two I've tried so many different setups I've tried so many different configurations yes I wasn't running lipo but I know friends that were and, and still do I've seen a lot of setups come and go I've you know I mean it um, for me yes lipo is new but for the few runs that I've put on this truck, the 50 C's, they work. Don't get me wrong. But like on Hobby King's website, it says that the Zippies have their good money for the value. Uh, let's see. Good money for the value. Uh, minimum voltage sag. And they're good up to, uh, you know, like 100 plus runs. Well, I'm looking at getting the, the Trinity or whatever you call it, Nanotex. And uh, they're 65C. They're good for 200 plus cycles. And uh, it's a newer battery technology. And they offer virtually no SAG under load. So I'm going to get those. And then I'll get that little bit of extra you know, power that I'm looking for. But anyways, moving on here. As you guys can see, I got a stampede in front of me. No, that's not my fiance stampede. That one's mine. I got it. I won it off eBay. I was bidding on it, and I got it for $41. Uh, it did not come with the body. This is my fiance's old body. But I'll pull that off of there. And it didn't. It, it came as a roller. Uh, the, the, you know, the tires came with it. Obviously, it's got different rims and tires in the rear but that's okay I am currently working on putting a setup in here I only have an AM uh, radio system for now but I'm gonna order the 2.4 gigahertz one off of Hobby King and then I have the Duratrax brushless system in there it's slowly coming together it's taking my time on it you know it I got a waterproof servo in there of course you know and It'll eventually get done. Just, you know, working on it here and there. And then there's my old school Emacs. It's it's still all torn apart and everything right now. I'm going to be rebuilding that truck again. And everything that keeps breaking on it is going to get replaced. So then that way I can run it, run it the way I want to run it without worrying about breaking it. And then there's... Uh, my friend Garrett's Stampede. I painted that body. Let me grab it and bring it up into the light here. Now the camera is just not doing the doing the justice on how yellow that is, but it's a yellow that fades into a blue. It's a Hummer body, and I did flames on it, and then flames on the sides, you know. And let me turn it around here and then there's flames in the back took me a couple of days to paint it up you know but turn
turned out pretty good. There, of course, there's always the occasional mess up, you know, but hey, what can you do? And then there's the Dwight Emacs. No change on that at all, you know. So, other than that, that's really all I have to update you guys on as of right now. Oh, and then my project RC down there. Now, this one's just pieced together with, with parts that I had laying in the box. I had it all together and everything, and I had it running and everything. And I took it outside, and I ran it for about five minutes, and I blew up the tranny in it. So, I got to get uh, some new tranny stuff for that. And that will be put back together. You know, and uh, yeah. So, other than that, that's really all I have for you guys as of right now. So, please rate, subscribe, and comment and all that. And uh, I am planning on going out to the gravel pit here soon. Now, I don't know if it's going to be on these packs or my new ones I don't know yet I still gotta talk to my buddy and see if we can do that but um hopefully I have my tripod by then I did order one and it's coming from overseas from Hong Kong so that's gonna take a year and a day but hopefully I have it by the time we wanna go so other than that, this video is long enough, so please rate, subscribe, and comment, and we'll catch you guys later.